Hello, dear friends. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. We have come with another news, another update. You may have been hearing the rumor up and down that Sheikh Gami sent message to Simon Eba. You should know that uh, Musa is brother to Sheikh Gami. They are the ones that want to take over our land. So, but every agitation or anger that is coming from the north, these are brothers. They are one. They want to subdue us and they want to use the name Nigeria to, to subjugate us the more. But be what it may, the person they are talking to is ready. Master Simon Epa is Okwado Akwado. He is very prepared. He knows what he will face. The tension is too high. It will only take a destined person to face this station that Mazze Simon Eba is facing now. The same thing that our, our brother, Mazze Namde Kano, faced. The tension was too high. That thing that brought him out to go to Kenya, and from there, they abducted him. It was a big thing. You understand me? Okay. So. Uh, we are talking to our Prime Minister to be very careful because terrorists are gnashing teeth against him. Terrorists. I mean known terrorists because Sheikh Gami is the leader of Boko Haram from Boko Haram to Hetzman. This is their leader. He knows their hideout. He knows everything about them. But to Nigeria, Sheikh Gami is more a uh, good citizen than Simon Eba. That is how they judge because Nigeria is full of injustices, all right? So, but I want you to listen to what Sheikh Gami told Simon Eba and the reactions on the street concerning this matter because this thing was a bomb the day he said it. All right, let's go there now. Today, Sheikh Gumi has issued a warning to Simon Eba. He said this nonsense. This nonsense must stop. He said this nonsense of him inflicting pains and then and then causing mayhem and crisis in Nigeria. He said he must drop this idea of division and that he must stop this idea of the Afra or else he will deal with him. Thank you so much. You have me live in Alaga, Bagay, Yala, Ha, Allah, Bandiala. See, let me tell you, Epa is doing the real business. Business of Biafra agitation has gone global. It's not somebody that has deviated from his, uh, let me say, um, clerical responsibility that we at least want Epa to fail to know. Cheikh Gumi was banned in Saudi Arabia. They don't want him to come anymore because of his own activities with bandits and Boko Haram. Saudi Arabia has seen him that he's a man that has soiled his hands. Che Gumi is a bloody man, very, so bloody and sanguinary. He's not the one that should stop the issue of Biafra. Biafra has come. And I want to tell Che Gumi that it is too late. It is too late. Yes, it is too late to advise, give proper that kind of advice. Because Biafra has come, and he is no match. He can never compare himself in any level with Simon Epa. Two of them are not, cannot make a good match. Che Kumi should look for other dirty Islamic clerics. There are many of them in the southern Nigeria to associate with. Not a prime minister in Finland. Che Kumi, let me advise you. You don't need just from Nigeria here be throwing words, words or attacking a Simon Epa that lives in Finland. You don't need to do that. Fulani, Hesmen, Buhari administration, they have used me and used me. You've been making money. When you used to go into the Samisa forest and meddle with the Boko Haram insurgents, you made enough money. He made money. See, yes, he made money. See, you have grown up to a billionaire. You made billions for Buhari. Sheikh, my advice, go to Finland, you are free. Go to Finland, meet, have an interaction. 
session with someone else. He will allow you. Go there and talk to him, not just. He said this nonsense. He said this nonsense must stop about this Biafra agitation. Nonsense is not a beautiful word. He's speaking on old. On his own, all I know is that his advice to Samonapa is a nonsensical sense of nonsense. Mm. So let us use nonsense. Who is talking nonsense? Chay Gumi, an Islamic cleric that is playing game with bandits. The only man romancing the bandits during Buhari regime. I think this current regime they have called him to order. If you befriend a thief, you are a thief. Mm. So stop befriending bandits. Because during the regime, you were a bandit. That's why he has, you know, soft pedal. He's no longer visiting the bandits anymore. His problem now is Biafra. I don't know why all these dirty old men could not change. When you are growing old, you are getting closer to your maker. You change all your lifestyles. Because you begin to ask yourself, what if I leave this world? Where am I going? Am I going to the master, the creator of heaven and earth? But all these Muslims, I'm not trying to be religious. I don't know why they don't have conscience. Whatever blood are flowing today. Blood Latin. You will see Muslims there. How could a cleric be involving himself on the business of agitation, especially of Biafra? But I don't think he has right to tell him that. He has said that Odumeju, uh, Odumegu, Odumegu fought Biafra and failed. I just like the way Odumegu failed. Samonepa and Nambikanu Su will surely fail, and that nothing will come out from. From this struggle, sir. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, near no logo fail, near no logo fail. So, what does that mean? Negumi, not near no logo fail. You want me to explain it in English? Sure, you will. I, I just they talk, say, from here to town at 30 Naira. And the 25 feet under the ground, the burning the Odela can you see? Now I mess my soul to Mukwa Mono Wama. See, let me tell you, cleric. Gumi should close his mouth. Agitation of Biafra has nothing to do with Fulani. He has seen that Fulani has failed. It is time. Time up for them. From now till 90 Kilidim, Fulani and Daosa will be fighting themselves. Why? What they committed 57 years ago, 56 years ago, 55 years ago, 4, 3, 2, 1, and 50 years ago, it has done against them, especially Fulani. So he has seen actually that if Biafra in my space, Fulani has no way again. The northern region is gone. Because we put, we put them on the position where they belong. We don't want any terrorists in Biafra land. We are Christian communities. All over Biafra lands, we are made up of thousands, hundreds of thousands Christian communities in Biafra land. From Bight of Guinea to Bight of Benin. That's Biafra International Shelf, Water Shelf. We have Igbo communities, all the whole Delta, all the whole rivers, all the whole Bayelsa, Aqua Ibom and Cross Rivers. See, let me tell you, we are not bordering, we are not bordered, whatever Chei Gumi might say. All I know is that his hands are soiled with blood. His hands are soiled with Yes, they should come out and explain to the whole world. That is an his own business, no. It's not allegation. See, what business does he did he have with bandits? Can bandits negotiate? Do, does, do bandits have friends? Anybody negotiating with my bandits has collected blood money. Sheikh Gumi should go for sanctification. If there's anything like that in Islam, Islamic religion, because he has sold his hands with blood. Sheikh Gumi is negotiating with Boko Haram and bandits. In the forest, they will give him his own commission. If he has not collected money from 2015 till now, when he was romancing with Bandit and Boko Haram, and they would ask men, it is swear. It is swear. He has to come out and swear. He must. Because if you look at how 
Saudi banned him from visit coming to Mecca. Are you not aware? Saudi authority, they said they don't want to see Gume, Gume in Mecca, Medina anymore. So he's no longer holy. A cleric that is not holy. Because according to Islam, if you don't go to Mecca, you are not holy again. <laughs> so Gumi is not holy. He has not been visiting the black stone. I listen to me in Medina. If you don't go to Medina again, you are not holy now. So what are you saying? A man that is not holy could not discuss liberation of Biafra. Now Biafra has failed. Gumi Adago, Biafra has not failed. Biafra must come and it is coming. So Gumi, you are just casting as passion for nothing. Now, now because yesterday too, Simon Epa listed conditions that the federal government should meet before they could sit and negotiate. It. Sorry, before they will sit and then discuss on on the round table to negotiate. Now, Gumi has said the federal government should not dare negotiate with, with terrorists. He has, has, he has described the IPOB as a terrorist. Now, most persons, that has, well, that has bring about a lot of criticism. That see, Shegumi doesn't have the power to call IPOB a terrorist organization. Sir. Now, let me tell you the number four deadliest terrorist group in the world is Cheikh Kugumi and his kinsmen, Fulani. Cheikh Kugumi is not a terrorist, sir. No, no, he is. See, he's from Fulani clan. Listen and listen to me before you, you bury me. Let me die first. What's the meaning of IPOB? I always debate it and ledger all my correspondent people that are throwing questions across to me on interview. Now, the meaning of IPOB is Igbo man. May I come in? Indigenous. People from that land, people, us, Biafra, the land, the country, the territory. So how come about POB, IPOB if not proscribed, if tagged terrorists, not Igbo man being tagged terrorist, whoever accuses IPOB or calls IPOB member terrorists is calling Igbo man. The most Christian race in Africa. I use the word again. The most Christian race in Africa. Let me talk to you that Saint Tansi one is from my kinsmen. You are calling Iboma terrorist. Saint Tansi one is from my kinsmen. We did not buy it with money. He's from Ibezuna Glen. Tansi one. He's a saint. The most Christian race in Africa has no link, link with terrorism. Oga, seven more cents are waiting. They are from Igbo extraction. People don't read. I read. Seven more people are, will be canonized very soon by Pope. Igbo men, seven, and women, a girl, is going to receive another cent. And Sheikh Gumi and his king's men should go and hang themselves. Sheikh Gumi and his king's men yes. should go and hang, hang themselves. Hang themselves. Thank I hope you heard what this our brother responded to Sheikh Gami. He said that he should go and sit down, that Biafra already has come. Many people believe in this Biafra so much more. And these are the people that the vision concerning Biafra is shown to. But if you don't believe it, it doesn't matter. It will still come. All right. Mazi Simon Eba is not relenting. And those fighting this Biafra with him are also, their hearts and their minds are made up that yes, it's either Biafra or bust. They will tell you that all die, not die. And Sheikh Gomi should remember that his own head can as well roll. And hence, we have already picked arms, we have already carried arms. There's nothing actually they can do about it because they themselves they've been wearing these arms guns for a very long time. Even when everybody was saying let there be peace, let there be calmness, let there be peace, they were carrying guns and be killing people all over. Now that we say okay, we have to defend our land, they are now crying and warning you from Sahel. You can imagine what is the business of Sheikh Gomi with Simon but what business has he in the East? Have you ever asked that question? So that is to tell you that we are pressing the right button and uh, 
we will see the right result and that's it thank you very much my people please stay glued and stay focused a bond dear friends a bond simon a bond main on ground continue what you are doing it is well with you thank you god bless you all